What's going on, people? Hope y'all are doing uh, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to give you guys some tips on where to find these old trucks. Um, it's not a secret. It's just you got to know where to look. And if you're looking online at, you know, like Craigslist or Truck Paper or um, these other websites that host, you know, commercial trucks and things like that, yeah, you can occasionally find a good deal. But most of the time, that stuff that those items have been shopped around, um, a lot of people know about it. Um, so if it's a great deal, it's not going to last that long. So where do you find these type of deals to find your Peterbilt uh, 379s or your 359s, you know, the older ones or the uh, W900s or the uh, those older Freightliners? I don't know what year they are, you know, with the round headlights. Um the double round headlights and like the, the triangle windows. But uh, here's where you find the stuff. When you're riding down the road, you know, you're out in the interstate somewhere. Um, you're going through these little back towns, backwater towns, and um, so on and so forth. You need to be checking out people's properties, you know, looking down the driveways. If they got a barn, if, you know, half of the barn door is open. You see some headlights. Oh, what is that? You know, and... Um, there may be a truck back in the woods or something like that. Um, you just got to get your eyes moving. Like, you know, if you, some of you taking the Smith system training, you know, um, Smith with an F Smith system training. Um, you now keep your eyes moving. You know, you'd be looking for this stuff. It, old cars too. I mean, that's a lot of times, you know, when you see these barn fine ads pop up on the, the uh, uh, and different publication and thing, you know, barn find, you know, 1963 Impala or something like that. You know, that's uh, part of that is, you know, people out looking for this stuff or they will run advertisements looking for this particular type of, uh, uh, stuff, um, which you can do that too. Um, but I'm not going to get into that, you know, on this, but you know, you can do that too. Um, and a lot of this stuff is not online. A lot of this stuff is offline. You know, if it's an older guy that has it, he don't know nothing about computers. You know, all he knows is paper and ink, you know, the newspaper, some kind of publication. Um, or if there's a, <clears throat> I talked about this in one of my other videos, if there's a truck garage um, that had that works on older trucks, um, you can check out their lot. Maybe one of their customers owes a big bill and the truck ain't leaving until it gets paid off. Or uh, you can stop in there. Maybe they know somebody getting rid of one. Um, I mean, the, it, there's a whole bunch of different avenues, but, you know, you got to use all your resources. It's not just, you know, it's not just a one size fits all for every situation. I mean, it's, it's you know, you, you got to do these things in steps. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. That's where you find this old stuff, uh, cars too, but, you know, we're talking about trucking or anything. Um, so hopefully this helped you out. <laughs> Go find your Peterbilt 359. We'll see you.